Dennis, welcome to Situation of Golf. It's an honor to have you here today, and uh, let's talk about golf a little bit. Now, you were originally from Scotland, Dennis, uh, the birthplace of golf, right. and uh, one of the country's uh, biggest attractions. Um, what's it mean in Scotland to, to be a golfer, and, and, the, and the industry as a whole? Well, Ray, it's great being here with you. What a great setting and a great day that we've got here. And uh, it's a wee bit warmer than it is at Carnoustie in St. Andrews, where I grew up. But that's fine, too. I enjoy the climate here. I've been here long enough. So, but talking about golf and your question, typically, that uh, we got going, uh, it's basically a world destination. People love the style of golf because it's mainly on links. It's around the ocean side and a, piece, a links golf course is a piece of land that's not good for farming. It's a sandy based soil and so it's good for golf courses and therefore that's where the word lynx comes. You basically don't get a lynx golf course in Arizona if you will, although some courses are maybe called. But it's a true destination. It was a way of life for me. Uh, I grew up at a little school in a small community and uh, my sports were football, which is soccer over there, and of course golf. Okay. We're here this morning in a in a big grass bunker, and boy, this is a, a shot that's not easy. You 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 don't have much to work with up on the green. Dennis, take us through this situation. What what do you do? How do you figure out what shot to hit? What are the mechanics of the shot? Okay. Uh, that's why you're here. To teach us how to do this. Got you. Yes. Well, number one, we're in an elevation below the surface of the of the green, and so typically I'm going to select my sand wedge of choice. And the reason I use a sand wedge, a lot of people, my pupils will tell me, said, well, Dennis, I thought sand wedge was for sand. Well, yes, it is designed for sand, but when we have nice thick grass in this grass bunker situation, we have a bounce sole on the sand wedge, meaning it's rounded like this right here. So it's a club that's not going to dig into the, uh, okay. the surface of the ground. And so typically it's going to skid on through right there. So the club of choice is very important right there. It may be a different the lofts, it may be 56 degrees, it could be your 60 degree loft, but we need one of these because of the change in elevations. Setting up to the shot, we would typically we <clears throat> balance ourselves here. We're in a relatively level lie right here, Ray. Ball center to slightly forward. Like to have the weight more on the front foot. And the reason being is in this execution, it's going to be an upper body swing where my lower body is very quiet. We don't want all this motion. And the whole point I'm making is the less moving parts on this, the better the execution can be. Okay. So as we set up to the shot right here, we've talked about the weight distribution. Our hands will be slightly ahead of the golf ball in that manner right there because as we take it back, it's important to hinge it. So I like to think of picking it up almost like in a U shape. And by doing that, Ray, it, the, the deeper angle of descent into the ball is going to lift the golf ball on up to that elevation. Before we execute it, let's take a little preview and walk up onto the green and see what we have to land on. Do you always walk up onto the green, Dennis? Oh, yes, right. I mean, look at this extreme situation. You can tell there's a high side there and the low side here. So number one thought is don't aim at the flag stick. If not, it's going to be off the green here to the left because we have an extreme situation. Sometimes I'll get down like this here, Ray, and look at the surface there. Almost like I'm reading a putt type okay. deal. Because I'm, I'm right now I'm visually picking my spot. So when we go back to the golf ball, I'm going to pick that spot. I'm going to hit at the spot, let the slope of the green release the ball to the flag stick. So you have a, a, a primary target and, and a secondary target. I do, I okay. do. I call it my golf course management okay. because you have to think ahead the next, for the next shots. 